Peace and blessings be with you. It's your servant Akila Nis. And it's time to make some boiled burro bananas. Burro! Burro! Burro bananas are a food on a Dr. Sebi nutritional guide. Time to boil some burro bananas. When you're ready to use the burro bananas, just give them a quick rinse and scrub just to get off any dirt. I like to boil burro bananas when they are ripe, which means when they are yellow, compared to when they are green, which means they are unripe. A lot of people, probably most people like it to boil them when they are unripe, when they're green. I just like them when they're yellow. They're sweeter to me that way. When they're green, they taste more like a potato. And let's see, compared when they are yellow, probably tastes more like a sweet potato. All right, so I'll start off cutting off both ends. So I'm left with that piece and I'll cut this into three. So now you have to cut down along the ridge. So either two or three times. Um, this will allow when it's boiled, when it's being boiled, that the skin will be able to fall off. Down. Down. And then you throw this in water. So my burro banana is prepared and I'm ready to boil them. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in some spring water. And I'm gonna add enough to where it covers the burro bananas. So as it the water goes in, the burros also move up towards the top of the water. So it's probably about half of the space. Um, uh, it's probably like half of the space of water below as it is where the burro banana is submerged. Trying to give you an idea of how much water to put in. So you want it to, you want to put it on the stove, let it boil, and as soon as it starts boiling, turn it down. But it's going to give off steam, so water is going to evaporate. So you don't want it to evaporate all the way down. So you want to have some extra water. You want to have enough to cover it, but have extra water. Okay, so that's all you need to make ball burro bananas. But if you want to add a little salt, you can add in like a eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Just a little bit. And add in like a eighth to a quarter teaspoon of oil, um, recommended oil in the Dr. Sebi Nutritional Guide. I'm going to put in some avocado oil. So that was it there. And the reason for that, often, especially when it's the green, real green, new bananas, though when it boils, the water will turn really, really dark. And putting in a little bit of oil, I found, helps to stop it from turning dark. So now that I have that, now it's just to put it on the fire. So I just put the pot with the burro bananas on the fire and I'm gonna let it boil and then once it gets to a boil, I'm gonna turn on the fire to medium low and let it cook for about 10, I mean like 20 minutes. Okay, so the water starts to boil in five minutes now. I'm gonna turn the fire down. Let that go to a simmer and let it cook the banana. So I want to, when I push my fork in, I know when it's ready when my fork goes in, but I don't have to force it through, but it goes into it. I don't have to, don't have to make it so soft that it just goes through like it's water, but you just want less resistance. So like say right now, when I push it, it only goes in like that far. That same pressure when I push it down and it goes deeper down, back to the middle, and it's ready. All right, so the water is calming down a little bit and I'm going to put the cover on because I don't want the water to evaporate too quickly and I'm not going to cover it tight because I don't want the water trying to force itself up out, out of the um, pot and you know um, through the size of the cover so I keep it 
not tight so some water can escape but keep some water in so the water doesn't evaporate too quickly all right so the brew is boiling for about 15 to 20 minutes let's look now boom before it goes in pretty easy everything is ready take it off the fire strain it take the skin off and be good to eat all right so gonna take the skin off do this with one hand, there it goes, boom, boom, so I got one, just going to put it in the pot for now, and I'm going to do the rest. All right, so the skin is there, it's removed. And I have a blue banana placed in a pot. What I'm going to do is remove the skin from the strainer. And then I'm going to put the burro in the strainer. So when I want to heat it up again, I can add water to the bottom of the pot. And it will come up through the holes and it will steam the bananas. And this way, too much water won't get on them to make them too soggy. All right, so I added the burro to the strainer. It's in the pot. Please remember to subscribe.